Hello, my name is Brian Smith. I'm a graphic designer here at Tiger Team Solutions, and I'm also a member of the training team. Now, if you receive our monthly newsletter, then I'm sure you've been following along in our various flash-based video tutorials. Now, today, we're going to extend this into a new style update, and we'd really like to get your feedback on this new format. So, to give us your feedback, please go to tts4.com forward slash forum tts as in tiger team solutions the number four dot com forward slash forum enough with the introduction today's tutorial is about adwords so follow up to a previous tutorial where we covered adsense what exactly is adwords adwords is a pay-per-click program provided by the search giant google Com. You develop an ad, provide the keywords you want to be found under, tell them how much you are willing to pay per visitor click-through, what the max is per day that you are willing to spend. You publish this ad into the Google network and wait. Your ad will start showing up in a few places. First, Google's search results. At the top and right hand side, of the search result pages, it's reserved for these types of pay-per-click ads. Second, your ads will show up in AdSense publisher websites. AdSense is for website owners to make a share of the click-through rate. AdWords is for publishers who are willing to pay to have their ads clicked. Together, they work to make money and or drive traffic. These are the key points that I will cover today. First, setting up an account. Secondly, understanding the money involved. Third, selecting keywords with the help of a secret weapon. Fourth, writing and publishing your ad. Let's start with the most likely place, number one on my list. Starting an account. You will need to go to google.com forward slash AdWords. Click the Sign Up Now button. You will be given the option to open a Starter Edition account or a Standard Edition account. I would recommend starting with the Starter Edition. And you can always upgrade that at any time and it will be less confusing for you for your first few campaigns. Follow along the steps, they're pretty easy, name, address, payment information, etc. The second thing I want to talk about is understanding where your money is going. Now, without trying to scare you or anything like that, I have to point out that there have been people who have lost tens of thousands of dollars overnight by not paying attention here. The problem comes in when they pay too much to get the number one slot and at the same time they're paying for keywords that too many people are fighting for and lastly they don't set up daily limits properly so the trick is to find keywords that people search for less often but at the same time get, reg get searched for on a regular basis consider this would you rather pay five cents per click and get a hundred clicks for a less commonly searched term or would you rather pay 50 cents per click for 10 clicks for the more aggressively searched term you spent the same amount of money different amount of clicks and I'm sure you've got different amount of conversions and so no matter how you set up your account what kind of terms you use just remember to put a max on what you're willing to spend. Without that, you're running a huge risk. The third bullet point that I want to share with you is how to deal with your keywords. Keyword selection is very, very important. When it comes to uh, searching on Google, those keywords are the things that tell whether your ad may or may not show up. Are you ready for the secret weapon I talked about earlier? Here it is. Keyword Elite. Write this down. TTS4.com 
forward slash secret weapon. Better yet, pause this video, open a new browser window, type in the URL as seen on the screen, and once you're done, come back here and finish the video. I just don't want you to forget to go get that program. I will ask, I really have to do this, I ask that you will only share this link with your closest of friends and coworkers, kind of like what we're doing today. Anyone that uses this program has an edge, and we don't want everyone to have that edge. We do have a few more tricks up our sleeves for getting the best of the best for keywords. However, they're so good, we just can't share them here. But if you contact us at support at TigerTeamSolutions.com and request information about getting the best keywords for your website, we will be glad to get back in touch with you. Now, moving on. The fourth item on my list is about writing the ad. Now, to do this, you will need to do a few steps. The first being define the URL that you'll be linking to. That's when someone clicks on your ad. Then, write in the text that will appear in your ad. Most ads are about three lines of user-friendly text. The first line is the ad title, and it can be a max of 25 characters, and that's including spaces. The next two lines are where the meat of the ad are written, and each of these lines can be 35 characters max. Use this area to talk people into clicking to see more about your product or service. I recommend going and looking at a Google search result, just a random search result, look at the ads, and see what attracts you personally. Try to figure out what it is that gets your attention. Then tailor that to your product or service. There is a fourth line in your ad, and it's the URL that you want the visitor to see when the ad's displayed. Now, for example, uh, if I was going to send you to bestwebsitedevelopment.com, but rather than send you to the main page, I wanted to send you to a custom page, one that was developed strictly for that ad. Well, I might not put the whole thing. I might put bestwebsitedevelopment.com in this area. There's no real need to show the rest. You know, it's defined in the other settings. The user really doesn't need to see it until after they click the ad anyway. And one last thing, something I need to note about this program, it takes a few days to verify your payments with Google. So your ads, they're not going to start until all of the information is confirmed. So while you wait, you can get started on your keyword research. Now that I've taken up about uh, eight minutes of your time, I'll let you get back to promoting your website. I'll see you next month, and have a great day.